let's face it, it's not easy to design and implement a software-defined data center. Compute, storage, network, operations, automation. There are a thousand ways to put those elements together to make something that works, but not all of them produce the best result. What you need is a blueprint. Blueprints spell out exactly which elements you need and the precise way to put them together to create the strongest structure. That's why we've established the VMware Validated Design. We've done the hard work of synthesizing the various software-defined data center elements into a standardized and streamlined design that reduces deployment risk, decreases time to value, and makes it easy to manage the day-to-day -day operations of your new software-defined data center. Think of how many decisions you have to make when planning a deployment. You have to identify your hardware needs so you don't over or under purchase. You have to study many reference architectures to determine which one makes the most sense. Then, you have to ensure all the software versions are compatible with each other. The VMware Validated Design addresses these concerns. We've extensively tested a set of designs to make sure they can handle whatever you throw at them. Think of them as a set of software-defined data center blueprints. When a component product of the software-defined data center gets upgraded, the VMware Validated Design, guidelines, and documentation all get upgraded too. Upgrades and patches are also tested against VMware Validated Designs prior to release to ensure compatibility. Several VMware Validated Designs exist, each targeting a specific deployment topology, foundation, single region, dual region, QE, and demo, and each with the pertinent availability, scale, and automation capabilities built right into the architecture. So, what does a VMware validated design look like? All VMware validated designs are built around a common foundation comprised of three logical vSphere pods. This foundation provides the framework for a highly available, reliable, and scalable software-defined data center. These pods include the management pod, which hosts the solutions used to manage and monitor the SDBC, including vCenter Server, vRealize Operations Manager, vRealize Log Insight, and vRealize Automation. In the management pod, network and security is provided by VMware NSX. Storage is provided by VMware Virtual SAN. The Edge pod provides additional NSX networking services to allow external access to and from the SDDC compute workloads. And finally, the Compute pod, which hosts the user-based workloads and services provided by IT. And there you have it, in a nutshell. Best practices, detailed test plans, measurement and optimization, deployment and operations guidelines, and continual validation per product release. VMware validated designs do it all. In other words, we've crafted a blueprint for the perfect building. And now, all you have to do is use the VMware Validated Designs to create it. For more information on the VMware Validated Designs, visit vmware.com go v2d.